This closet has always been a problem with me. I have really been cleaning out, decluttering, getting rid of things, but this closet is horrible. And I'm going to turn this closet into my kitchen pantry, and I'm going to show you in a little bit why. So this closet, everything is coming out of here. I'm going to sort through it, put it out in my canning garage, and put it in places where I know where it's at. And then I'm going to put all of my spices and my bulk baking items in here. Because what's happening is all of my bulk baking items are here. I can't find them. It's just too much. It's hard to see. And this is going to be where my microwave and other things are. I'm redoing my whole kitchen. I'm decluttering. Woo it's going to take me all day. Although my kitchen is cluttered, it's an organized clutter. I want to clear out so I have room for this spring when I do a lot of harvesting of my vegetables, of my herbs. I need to have a kitchen that is streamlined and it's cleaned up without so much clutter. And that means that closet is going to be my key to having things more organized. So the first thing we have to do is clean out that closet so that closet is ready to so the first thing we have to do is clean out that closet. So here's the before. I learned a trick a long time ago is using your wheelbarrow if you want to transport a lot of things at one time. So all the things in this wheelbarrow are going into my canning garage. So what I'm doing is instead of putting everything in here and just throwing it in there, I'm taking the extra time and I'm putting everything away out there. So it takes twice as long to do it, but at the end of the day, everything is done correctly. So I'm taking wheelbarrow loads after wheelbarrow loads out there, putting it where it needs to go, all of my seasonal, my prepping items. My home is built around prepping, and so everything in my home has to do with some sort of prepping or long-term survival. So that stuff is going out in the canning garage. And now this stuff has to go into the wheelbarrow once that's empty. So we're just going to keep taking everything out of the closet, and once everything's out of the closet, we're going to clean it, and then we're going to start organizing. And I think it's really going to make a difference. Well everyone, I did it. I have no heat on in the house. It's 50 degrees. I have hot flashes and I'm working like crazy, but everything is removed. Oh my word, was that ever work? So, everything here is removed. I'm happy to announce. Now what I gotta do is, I gotta clean off the shelves, vacuum everything up, and then we're going to put one thing in at a time. So I'm going to start with the smaller, the jar, and then down to the largest. This is going to be my pantry for my cooking and all of the dry goods that I have. And I'm hoping I can get more in here than I think I can. I have this area right here. I wish I had some shelves or something. I don't. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do here because every bit of space for me is so important. I have to use up every space because I'm trying to take everything out of my kitchen and put it nicely in here so I can just close the door and walk away and have everything organized. And then my kitchen is free of clutter. I don't mind clutter because my clutter is all useful items. But in the summer, I need my kitchen. I need my kitchen counters cleaned off. I have a really small kitchen. Somebody said on my tour video they loved it, but they like to see the rest of my house. And I was like, um, that is the rest of my house. This is my house. The kitchen, the little family area, a bedroom, and a pantry. That's it. That's it, people. <laughs> so I don't know what they were looking to find, but this is my house. It's not tiny living. But let me tell you what, it's small living, that's for sure. I only have the closets in the bedroom and this closet is the only closets I have in this house. So I'm going to keep on working.
decorate the shelves. Put all the dried food on the shelves and see how many we can fit on here. That is everything and look at all the room I have. Now I can go into the canning pantry and put some things here. Look how much room I got. This is amazing. This is exactly what I was hoping. I was hoping I could put more things in here, have it organized, and then not have it out on top of my counter so much. This is perfect. I am extremely happy, and I'll show you when we're done. So there, everyone, is the finished product. So there you go, everyone. It's the finished project. Up top is where I have some herbs and my essential oils. Then I have my dried goods. Dried goods. And way down the bottom I have all of my baking supplies. So there you go. I turned this closet into a pantry and now I can clean up my kitchen and it won't be so cluttered. So let's see what the kitchen looks like. It's time for Peony's Diary, and we are on February the 19th, 1944. Fanny writes, Today I wanted to go to town, but when Marion woke up, she had the mumps. Usually my videos are only about two to three days ahead of time, but last week, for some reason, I ended up having five extra videos. I never dreamed what a blessing that would be. Saturday morning, I woke up very sick, and I have been sick all week. But I'm starting to get better. But I'm so thankful for these extra videos because they're really helping me out in a time that I need them. I don't look too presentable at the moment. But on Saturday, I will show you my face for the first time really this week. And boy, I had a lot of things I learned this week through all of this. But the most important thing is, I thank you for your prayers. And having a Facebook group where people can know about what's going on. And so people knew that I wasn't feeling well. It is a cold virus. It is the flu. I've had high fever for a couple days. And finally, that fever broke. So I am on the mend. But thank you guys so much for caring for me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. and. Some of you even went and are watching some back videos just to give me a little bit of help. I'm counting on having a video every single day, even on the days I don't feel quite so well. But I think you enjoy them, and I enjoy making them. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey everybody, wait a second. If you like videos about my daily life and you like to see how do I do things here on the homestead, take a look at all these videos below. It's three years worth of beautiful videos that I get to share with you my life and my dreams for the future. Take care everyone.